Hello and welcome to this demonstration of AppSea Connect, our hybrid integration platform. And today we are going to show you how you can connect your Magento online store with your back office ERP system SAP Business One through AppSea Connect. Let me remind you, AppSea Connect is a hybrid integration platform and uh, it's very exclusive mostly because it, is, it takes a hybrid approach in doing integration and is very different from the other solutions you find in the market. Uh, it provides you the option of controlling the entire integration from cloud where you do the configuration of the integration as well. But all the business critical information, all the transactional data, all the credentials to your enterprise level applications get to stay in your server uh, on the ERP server and safe with you. So today I'm going to show you how we can connect through AppSea Connect and I have a demo Magento store connected with the SEO Business One company uh, through AppSea Connect. And I'll show you a few of our basic uh, integration synchronization processes. So I'll start with the customer synchronization process. So let me quickly register as a new customer from the front end of the Magento store. And I'll quickly download that to the SW business one. So I register as a new customer and uh, I'll just quickly provide a default address for this customer, a billing and shipping address. And I save the address. Now I'll head back to the agent. So this is the AppSe Connect agent which is installed on the SAP server where the SAP Business One ERP system is installed. It's a very lightweight application and to log into the AppSe Connect agent you have to put in the credentials uh, with which you even log in into the AppSe Connect cloud account. So I'll quickly log into the agent and show you the connections that I have. So here we have two connections defined in the agent. Uh, one connection for pushing in information from SAP to Magento and there is another process for syncing information from uh, SAP uh, from Magento to SAP and we have a lot of integration uh, and synchronization processes under each of these connections and one most important feature of our connector is that you have both the options for syncing information you can either manually sync information from one platform to the other uh, by you know quickly logging into the AppSync Connect agent and then uh, you know clicking on the download button or what you can do is uh, you can uh, you know just click and swap the button and set it to auto. Uh, once you set this particular process into auto this process would keep on running in the background and uh, it will run after a uniform period of time say maybe 5 minutes. So for example in case of a customer download process if it's set into auto the process would keep on running in the background and every time a new customer gets registered in your online store, in your Magento online store, it will get automatically downloaded to the business partner master data of SAP Business One. And since there's so many processes, so many synchronization processes we have listed in uh, each of these connections, uh, we have a search box where you can directly uh, type in the name of a, a particular synchronization process. So for the demonstration purpose, I'll just uh, quickly run the uh, customer download process manually and now let me go back to the SV business one business partners business partner master data and uh, here we have the details of the customer uh, downloaded from Magento Brian Bell as whom I just registered in the Magento store and we have the email ID uh, we have the name uh, in case uh, you know you have uh, multiple customer groups in Magento and a particular customer is associated with one of the groups we can download the customer group with which the customer is uh, associated right over here and uh, this is like the dem by default customer groups that you get in Magento uh, retailer general wholesale so this customer by default got associated with the general group so we have it downloaded to the web customer group field and the customer website in case uh, you have multiple Magento websites and all of them are connected to the SA Business One company through AppSea Connect you can even know from which website has this customer registered so we, we even download the name of the website from where the customer is registered and our connector supports connections multiple connections with multiple Magento websites from a single SA Business One company or even multiple SA Business One companies Moving on to the address tab, uh, we have the address that I just provided while registering as this new customer. And let me remind you the customer synchronization process is a bi-directional process. 
So you can download the details of a new customer from Magento to SAP or in case you have a lot of existing customers in your SAP, you can upload them to Magento and Magento can then be uh, configured so that once they're uploaded to Magento through our connector, an automated email can go to the customer's email ID notifying about that uh, new account creation in the Magento store and uh, a link uh, to reset the password or set the password. And uh, there's this checkbox called web customer flag uh, by which we discriminate between uh, the web customers and uh, probably the uh, usual uh, legacy customers that you might have in the SAP business one. So it's a bi direction process. Uh, then I'll quickly move to the uh, item synchronization process and that as well is a bi directional uh, synchronization process that AppSeq Connect has. And uh, you can either uh, define items in SAP and have it listed in your Magento or you can have uh, you know all the items listed and defined in Magento and you can download it to SA Business One. By default you have the item master data in SA Business One to uh, define and create a lot of items but uh, by the virtue of the add-on that we install in SA Business One there is another extra document created called the web item master data and uh, this add-on that we install in SA Business One is uh, certified by SAP so uh, you have absolutely no reasons to worry about it. So let me quickly create an item in the item master data and then I'll move forward with the web item master data. I'll quickly provide the unit price and I'll provide the remarks. Uh, we have currently mapped the remarks field of the item master data with the description field. And I'll save it. Now we have the web item master data as I was saying and uh, once you have defined an item in the item master data you have to provide the extra information in the web item master data. So I'll, you have to select the item that you have defined in the uh, item master data in the web item master data first. So you select the group and you select the item that you have defined and then you provide all the extra information. Now we have provided this you know option to provide a lot of extra information in the web item master data is because SAP and Magento are completely two different platforms with different utilities and different architectures. But when they're connected, it is when they're integrated, it's very important that you have all the information maintained on both these sites. Now, SAP Business One by default does not have the option of defining different kind of products like you have in Magento, like simple, bundled, grouped, or you don't have the option to maintain attributes, or you don't even require to have different categories. But when they're connected uh, to each other, it's very important that you get to maintain all this information at both the ends. So for this very reason we have created the web item master data where you can uh, create and define and maintain all this extra information and uh, you can have the control of uh, the two platforms from a single end. So you can define, create and even merchandise and provide all information of a product right in SA Business One and then have it listed in Magento with all the information. So you can define all the different kind of products that uh, Magento uh, offers you as option like simple, virtual, grouped and bundle. So let me quickly select it as a simple product for demonstration purpose. Uh, the attribute set, tax class, the attributes, categories, all these are options which are defined in Magento and are pulled down into the SO business one as parameters through a synchronization process in which we call the master data sync. So I'll just select the attribute set as default and the tax class as taxable goods. You can even define uh, configurable products in the web item master data and you can even associate the child items or the different variants of the configured product right in the web item master data. You can provide a short description. You can make sure that the product is enabled which means the status of the product would be enabled in Magento and visible means that the option catalog search would be selected uh, as a visibility option in Magento. Uh, next uh, we have the website tab and as I was saying that in case you have multiple Magento websites all connected to a single SA Business One company right from here you can define which particular website do you want this particular item to be showcased in. So you can select the website from here for the demonstration purpose we just have one website. You can provide four images of this particular item and have them listed in the Magento store with these images and these images are uh, as they are in Magento small image image, gallery and thumbnail just the way it's defined in Magento. Uh, moving on to the attributes, uh, all the attributes that you have in Magento are pulled down over here in the web item master data to be selected while defining the item and you can even uh, select the attribute values that you have defined in Magento. Next is the category. 
uh, you can uh, have all the categories defined in Magento over here in the web item master data is option so you can select in which category you want to showcase this particular item so I'll just select mobile the purpose and add it and next I'll move on to the SF business one to Magento connection and let me just quickly type in simple as I have a simple product upload process so this set into manual and I'll just quickly click on this button and have this item uploaded to Magento so moving on to the Magento end and going to the back end this is the back end the admin panel of the Magento I'll go to catalog manage products and I'll have this item listed HTC desire one this is a simple product with the default attribute set and this is the SKU that I provide and the price is 600 so these are all the information that I provided in the item master data and the web item master data in SAP so as you can see this is the name this is the description that I provided in the remarks tab of the item master data uh, the short description that I provided in the web item master data the SKU the attribute that I selected and there were two checkboxes if you remember one was uh, enable and visible and they have been reflected over here the status is enabled and the visibility option is selected as catalog search weight if provided can also be uploaded to Magento moving on to the prices uh, we have the price 600 as provided tax class selected as taxable goods images if provided can also be showcased over here at max you can provide four images in the web item master data and the category is as I selected in the web item master data mobile now the product wouldn't be visible at the front end because I have not provided any initial inventory amount for this item so let me again quickly go back to SAP and go to inventory transactions and create a goods receipt for this item And add it now stock synchronization is also there and you have the option of setting it into automatic trigger which means that once you have it set into auto this particular stock update process would keep on running in background and every time it would sense a difference or an updation in stock or inventory in SAP it will automatically update it in Magento as well so you never have to think about the inventory level and you would never go out of stock in the Magento store because as soon as it gets updated in your SAP site it's going to get reflected in Magento as well so we have the update product stock and let me just show you how the auto sync works so I set into auto and within the next two three minutes it's going to get uploaded to Magento I won't have to trigger the download process you can see once set into auto the download button as well gets deactivated uh, so I think uh, the stock has already been uploaded in Magento so let's get back to the Magento store and go to catalog and manage products so you see the uh, quantity the inventory amount has been updated for this particular item and now it will be visible at the front end so if I go to mobile category I'll be able to see this product HTC desire one with the amount 600 so now let me quickly uh, place an order as this customer is whom I just registered brand bell and place an order so I just gave in quantity of two added to cart and I'll proceed to checkout I already have a billing and shipping address provided so I'll select the same address for shipping as well and click on continue uh, for demonstration purpose we just have a flat rate shipping method selected uh, the demo Magento store is not connected to any uh, sandbox account payment gateway so I'll just select the offline payment method but in case uh, it's an online payment piece, uh, uh, you know online payment method is being used by a particular customer to place the order we can uh, download the transaction ID as well as the payment method that was selected for placing the order right away to the payment means section of SAP business one so the order total is 1309 there's a tax amount there is a shipping cost and the subtotal so I'll just place the order and the order ID is ending with 44 and so now let's head back to the agent and the agent has the order download process and you again have the option of downloading an order automatically or manually as you wish in case of uh, the automatic trigger every time an order gets placed in Magento 
will the AppC Connect will download it to the SV Business One automatically and you won't have to log into the agent. So let me quickly search the order. It's set into manual, so let me just quickly run the manual process. Let me go to the sales order. And this is the order that I just placed, Brian Bell, with the order ID. The customer reference number is the order ID that is generated by Magento and this is the item in quantity 2 the unit price is 600 and the tax code has been applied for California as that's the shipping address that I gave and the order total is exactly accurate 1309 with the tax amount being 99 and the fret being 10 so now I can quickly create uh, the delivery document for this item and our connector even supports partial delivery upload to Magento so in case you have two delivery documents created from a single sales order our connector can upload uh, multiple partial delivery documents to Magento as well so let me quickly add it and uh, run the delivery upload process now so I'll just quickly run the add shipment process And go to sales order the order right after placing generally stays with the status pending but right after you upload the delivery the order status changes into processing and in case you mention the shipment tracking ID in the delivery document in SAP our connector can even upload the uh, tracking ID to Magento so it's processing uh, now and uh, let me quickly create the invoice for this order now run the invoice run it manually and now the order status will change from processing to complete so as you can see the order status has been changed to complete so these are the basic uh, synchronization processes of our connector we have a lot of other processes like uh, period discount and volume discount synchronization which if configured in SAP can be right away reflected in SAP and the tier price section uh, and uh, in the special price section. Hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Do contact us in case you have any queries. Thank you.